now we are on uh, tuples here. So this is this is a tuple. So basically, a tuple is just um, it's like it's a, it's a, it's like a it's like a couple or like a pair, except you have like three or more. It's usually called a tuple. Um, and so here we just have x is equal to one, two, three, and you can just print uh, x by itself. And we can take a look at what that looks like actually before we move on to the other stuff. Um, well, so let's see what what it prints out like. So. So one two three exactly the same way I wrote it right. So you just have one two three, no problem. And then um, then we can let's comment out the x. So you just use hashtag for the comment. And um, so let me comment out this part. Okay. Now you can print out like you know like I said, we, computer scientists like to start out with zero. So you have like you can print out like the first part. This is the saying print out the first part of the tuple x. Okay. You just use this this like bracket notation here um, to specify which element exactly you're talking about. So basically, zero would be the one, x of one would be the two, and x uh, bracket two would be the three, the three element. Okay. Um, so you know we can we let's let's just see this in action. So let's, we should just get the number one, no brackets or anything, uh, when we evaluate this. So there we go. We got the one. Okay. Now. Um, Let's comment this part out, and then let's move on to the x of 1. Like I said, it should print out uh, 2 there. So let's see if that works. 2. OK. You know, easy enough. Um, I mean, there's some situations where you might use a tuple. It, it depends. You can also, like, we're, we're going to talk a little bit more about tuples in a second. So let's see. So let's comment this part out, and then let's move on to that next line I have here. So. This is kind of weird. So now we have, like, like I said before, like x can be. You don't need to specify like what type of variable x is. It just the computer just kind of figures out uh, what kind of variable it should be. It, should, it figures out here that it's a tuple, and it's like okay, no problem. And then also when you do like operators, like here I have x equals x plus, and then I'm adding a tuple, which seems a little bit weird. Basically, in this context, the computer knows that I'm talking about adding tuples. And the addition operator, when you're talking about tuples, just means concatenate, which just means like stick this tuple onto the end of my previous tuple. That's what that's what it's saying there, and assign that to x, and then we're printing it. So basically, we're just going to get a bigger tuple. Like x will at this point after this code is executed, x will be a uh, bigger tuple with one, two, three, four, five, and that that's going to be printed out. So let's just see that in action. Okay, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So that's all that that does. Nothing, uh, nothing too special there. Um, but um, you know, we'll keep that line and come up the print because the next stuff has to deal with that. So now we have uh, now this this is a little bit weird. Uh, like I'm not sure how like if I ever use this in another language, but you can do like if you want to get the last number, excuse me, in, in the tuple, um, you do index negative one. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean that that's that's basically it. And then like down here, I have the second last number. So we can just see that this now that our x is one, two, three, four, five, this should be five, right? Because that's the last number. We're counting from left to right. Like zero was the uh, the first element, and then you, if you imagine you can imagine like negative one wraps around from this, the first element all the way back to the last element, and then you're printing out um, you're printing out the five, the last the last element in that tuple, which is five. All right, so there we go. We got we got five. All right, and just, then yeah, go ahead. Just a just a question or two. Um, so that slicer. Yes. That's a slicer for lists, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's called slicing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And um, the and I've always confused um lists and tuples just a little bit. I know tuples are more easily modified. Like I, I saw on the x equal well yeah. is assigned to x plus four and five. You couldn't do that with a list, but in a list you can append things with the append method. So it's like I, I don't really understand the difference. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I wrote this somewhere. Uh, yeah, tuples are immutable and uh, lists are immutable. Okay, I have strings are immutable. Okay, 
Arrays are immutable. Yeah, tuples tuples are immutable. And then um, I, I also believe that um, like there are different functions that I'm not sure tuples have, but are, like arrays arrays are like lists are called arrays. Like uh, arrays and lists are synonymous in uh, in Python. Usually from other programming languages, you would call it a, an array, and in Python they just call it lists naturally. So that's that's like I don't know term terminology. But I think if you say array in Python, people know what you're talking about, just because like it's pretty common to other programming languages. So um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, so th this is so now we're printing the uh, the second last number. So you're right. This is this is called slicing. Um, so let's see let's see that we get the uh, second to last there. So that's four, right? So yeah. So we had we had four. Um, that was our second to last one because this was one, two, three, four, five, right? And um, so yeah, I think that I think that's all fairly uh, self-explanatory. Um, now. Now we so now we're using a uh, we we can do different types right so we can have a tuple of strings we we'll use the tuple events basically now we're using strings so like I mentioned earlier like you have the double quotes for uh, for strings right and um, you know the Y should print out the um, the tuple and it should also have the quotes I believe so let's just let's just see what that what that looks like oh okay so it actually prints it out as single quotes okay. I mean, it's not it's not really a big deal. That's just what Python decided to do for whatever reason. They printed out single single quotes, okay? And then um and then at the end there we printed out uh, the last element as well. So that works the same way. So it's just you know you don't have to specify like I said either. You don't specify like this um, assignment operator. The compiler will just figure out that you're assigning y to a tuple of strings. It doesn't. It, the compiler understands that it's all good as long as it's well formatted. If you have something that isn't well formatted, then it might give you an error. We can try that too. We can just say like something like that, and as you can see, that we already have like this red area because um, Python is basically expecting you to end this string. So let's see what kind of warning we get there. Yeah, end of line while scanning string literal. So exactly what I said. So it it, it basically went on indefinitely and didn't find that uh, that end of the of the string. So. So basically, yeah, you have it well formatted, then Python understands what you're doing, and yeah, we can print out, and at the end we print out mouse, which was the last, the last element there. All right, so then we move on to uh, the idea here is that um, now this might be this might be one of the differences as well between lists and uh, tuples is that you can mix types in tuples. So basically here. We have these three strings, the same strings as cat, dog, mouse, and then we have a, a regular like integer, and then usually like a, a, a decimal is either called like a floating point number or like floating point value or like a double. So we have 3.14 there, and we print this all out. Like Python is like, okay, you have a tuple of like mixed types, that's that's fine with me, and we can print y, and there we go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's basically that, and then we can also uh, print out the uh, you know second to last element again, and we can see what that looks like. Should be uh, two, two. Yep, there we go. So it works works all the same way, and um, yeah. So let's comment all that out, and let's get into our function. 